Hey, Miri, how are you today? I'm so good, Alice. How are you? I'm fine and I'm super excited because today we're going to talk about test questions. Mm-hmm. My favorite ever. Test question is one of the most powerful tools you can have to monitor how your roster is doing in annotation job. And that's what we're going to discuss today. So test questions are usually created in order to make sure that individual contributing to a job are consistent. You want to make sure that they pay attention all the time. As you said, you also want to make sure they did go through the instruction. They understand the guideline, what is to be done. They went through the example, so they don't like trip up examples, for instance. And you want to make sure also that they improve over time. Like what is an interesting like indicator to follow is if your contributor are missing some test question at the beginning, but the more you give them feedback about what they missed, the more they improve, then you're happy with what you're doing and their quality. So it's altogether a way to qualify a crowd for a specific job, a way to ensure your crowd as the individual level is consistent and doing what you expect, but also a way of training and reinforcing your contributor understanding of the guidelines and of the job purpose all along the way so that you will make sure you will put the highest quality in the data you're collecting. Let's see how to create test questions in jobs for quality flow projects. In this job, I ask my contributor to categorize animals based on their names. My job is designed and now I want to add test question. I click insert quality and choose Add test question here. Here I see all the data I have in my data set and I can choose based on the animal names. I have five units selected. I can move to set up test questions. This page displays all the items I selected as test question and I will now choose the correct answers. I can also input reasons why this is the correct answer. If I want to discard one of these test questions, because it's not relevant, I use skip question. I can then move to save and continue. This page shows me all the units I selected as test question. This one is disabled because I click skip test question. I can re-enable it by clicking here. All my test questions are ready to go and I can now move to my job settings. Once my preferences are set up, I can start routing my data to my job. Here I can see my golden unit I just created and all my new units that are available to be routed to my job. I select the units I'm interested to route to my job and then send them to the job. I go back to my job. I see it's paused and when I open it, I see all my golden units and my five new judgeable units. I click run job and my contributor would be now able to start working on the job. So my worker can now connect to the Appen platform and start working in quiz mode. They can read the instruction and then answer the question. Dolphin is mammal. Let's say blue whale is a bird. I submit and continue. I see I miss one of the question and I have information about my miss. I can contest. I am sure whale is a fish. And send. I pass my accuracy threshold. I'm now in work mode and I can start answering the job. Once I've answered, I submit. My contributor have started working on my job and I want to see how they are doing. So I go back to my job and in the quality page, I can find information about my test question. Here I have the list of my test question and I see the percentage of contested test question. I click here and I can see this contributor said, I am sure a whale is a fish. I can decide to do different things. One is disable the test question And this will like remove the test question from the pool and change my contributor accuracy score. I can just decide to ignore what my contributor said and keep it. If I move to contributors here, 
I can see information about like this contributor. If I disable this test question, I see that my contributor now passed with 100% of accuracy. And if you go back to your job, in the results tab, you also have the full report that you can download and you will see how your contributor did on these test questions. Cool. Thank you so much, Alice. Um, it was so interesting hearing you talk about all the super cool stuff that you can do using test questions. And I think we're really excited to say that test questions is now integrated into quality flow. So all of you guys watching can check it out and see what's supported. Yeah, so I think it's a very promising thing to integrate with quality flow because you have other um, quality solutions. And now the fact that you can combine that with test questions is going to make it much more powerful and empowering a job designer for more quality data. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye, Alice. Bye, Emily. See you next time. <laughs>